Time switch. What we're going to be looking at then in this video today is Horseman KMK2. This time switch is a rather basic model. Uh, it doesn't feature a spring reserve in it or any form of backup in the event of a power cut. It is a rather small and basic model this and probably would have been aimed at either consumers or given its small and compact size it would have been aimed at street lighting or something like that where it can be accommodated into the base of a street lamp in comparison to shall we say a VMK7 it is actually quite small if I zoom the camera out Right there is a VMK7 next to it, one of which has yet to be cleaned up and restored, but that's not the uh, the point here. The point here is the size difference in uh, comparison. As you can see, the depth of the little KMK2 isn't too much, and that is mainly because you've got a few gears in there and a synchro motor, whereas... The VMK7 has got basically two mechanisms in it. One for where it runs on the mains and the other one for when it runs on backup and of course a particularly large spring drum in there. If you look in the video description I can put a link to a video on a VMK7. In this one then we're going to be discussing that one. On the front of that time switch there, the clock face, you can see that there appears to be mentioning months in that. If I can just adjust that tripod, there it is. And what that's for is this one will track the sunrise and the sunset. This is perfectly suitable for lighting of any kind whether it be street lighting or otherwise due to the fact that as this tracks sunrise and sunset over the years over the course of a year this will adjust the on and off times according to the sunrise and sunset it's a nice little feature that but because it does alter the on and off times automatically it wouldn't really be desirable to use it for anything else other than lighting say say for example operating a little water heater or something like that you wouldn't want your water heater turning on and off at random times throughout the year let's zoom in on the specification plate then and have a look at the characteristics for this one like i say it is a little basic model And straight there, it, on the specifications, it does actually make reference to resistive loads and lighting loads. Resistive load is 30 amps, and tungsten lamp load is 30 amps. 240 volts for this, and the all-important 50 hertz alternation frequency for the synchro motor. It says it on their motor, 200 to 250 volts. And I'm trying to see where on that specification plate it makes reference to 50 hertz alternation frequency and it is right there in that corner. We're quite a bit into the digital zoom right there, we don't want to do that. Model number is just down there, but I've got difficulty getting a nice sharp zoom on that. It might be the angle and I might have to adjust the angle of the time switch. But there it is. Oh, we're right in on the digital zoom there. This is KMK2 on it anyway. In a minute, I should get this out of the case and we'll have a look at it in a bit more detail. No owner's number on this one because this one, it is brand new. And if I 
Just put that next to it. Hold on there a moment. Seeing that this one is brand new, it did come with the original box. Right there. So it does have the original box with it when I acquired it. I'm not the first owner of it, even though it is brand new. And... I've got a feeling that this one was left sitting around for a few years and then it was put up for so. Probably surplus or something like that. Let's get this one out of the case then and have a look at it all over and around the back at the pin base. Okay then, I've removed it from the base. Currently the time switch is on the floor as is the camera. No tripod at the moment. You can see on the specification plate that uh, it is a KMK2 because I've managed to get a nice little focus going on there and a zoom. It says KMK2 right there. Again, you can bring this up full size because this is full HD. Now, the time indicator on this is a bit of an interesting one because you have on that two pointers. One's got W on it and the other one's got S. Let me get that camera a bit closer. There we go. Now let's see if I can zoom in on that and get a nice little focus going. Oh yes I can. Look at that. It's nice and sharp then. So we've got W on that and S. W is for winter and S is for summer. So you don't need to wind this on or back according to GMT or BST. Okay, GMT is obviously uh, Greenwich Mean Time and BST is British Summer Time. Oh, I'm just going to try and get on that with manual focus, so bear with me a moment. There it is. So that's probably as close as I'm going to get with that on the zoom. So we've got WNS then for the time pointer. There's that KMK2 again on the specification plate. There's the date aperture on there. Currently it's around about July or August. So this would be set up for the summer on and off times. As you can see there, that would be the on tog. And this camera's not behaving tonight for some unknown reason. But that's the on tog right there. Let me just pick the camera up. from that angle and let's see if I can operate the zoom from that angle so that there then is the on tog right there and you can see there's like a little slide on that so that you can adjust it accordingly so you've got a little bit of leeway either way there and same with the off one but it's hiding just there if I can get the camera around the side there there it is, and again you've got a bit of leeway on that, so you can adjust it if it's not quite according to your latitude. Okay. So there it is. Now this one's got a little date label on it, if I just turn that around. We'll have a look at the pin base in a minute, there's the pin base. But this one, being brand new, it still has the date label on it. There it is down there, January 1971. Okay, just there. There it is. So, this one's brand new, never been used, I don't think. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to the pin base. There's the pin base. Sorry about that wild zooming there. I'm going to put the camera back on the tripod. Bear with me a moment. Zoom in on that uh, pin base then. And straight in there. It's a three pin base this one. So 
those holes there okay that one that is for the main load carrying conductor right there but it will also supply electricity to the synchro motor because this is the three pin uh, base configuration on this one that little wee hole just there that is for the neutral of the synchro motor and then there's two screws to the left of that for the related uh, terminal we've got an earth terminal there and that little thing just there is uh, sticking up the back can on the time switch makes contact with that thus providing an earth connection and down there is the uh, the other hole for the other pin on the pin base so that the load can be switched uh, just bear with me a minute and I should get that time switch set up so that we can have a look at the pin base. Okay, got the time switch set up then for the pin base. Well, I'll just pick that camera up and bring it over just a little bit. Hopefully we won't lose the focus. There it is then. There's the pin base right there. As like I said, this is three pin, three pin base. So right in the middle then we got the little neutral... Uh, little neutral pin and the power would come into that pin there and it also goes down through that little glass internal fuse and there's a wire connected onto that and that would just disappear into the can there and go to the synchro motor that's inside there is the little 30 amp contact right there there it is, and there's no marks or wear on that, so that's what makes me think that this is brand new. And there we are. Nice little time switch overall. If I just get it, hold on a moment. Down there on the floor, just popping into view, is the instruction manual for it. It also details a few other wiring configurations in there for other time switches as well. I would like to say thanks for tuning in to watch this one. And a little later on in other videos I'll just see if I can get some more time switches uh, catalogued on the channel. For now on this one, thanks for watching.